Hi everyone, welcome back to one of my videos. This is Selena and today I'm going to bring to you um, a gorgeous Victorian shawl with a um, chain arc edging. So it's a really gorgeous type of edging and I'm really excited to bring this triangular shawl to you. So I'm just going to try and de-zoom a bit just so you can see this beautiful shawl. So there we are. So this is part of my vintage crochet collection series. So where I bring to you a crochet piece and pattern inspired by um, the past fashions. So the Victorian era crochet, um, pat well, the Victorian era shawls were really characterized by this triangular shape. And so I was really inspired to make this shawl and to just add this kind of vintage border to it just made a lot of sense. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to ask all the, your questions because I answer all my comments. So don't hesitate. The free pattern is as always available on my blog selinaveronique.com and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It means the world to me and it does help to um, to spread our um, crochet family and crochet love. So yeah, so without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into this tutorial. So for this project, I used two Sirdar Color Wheel Dazzle in shade 500. The, this is a DK yarn in British terms and in American terms it's a light 3 yarn so you could use any, any um, light 3 yarn or DK yarn for this pattern and this is 78% acrylic, 19% wool and 3% polyester and it's absolutely gorgeous I just fell in love with this um, with this shade. I did use one and a half of these, however um, you will still have a lot of um, yarn left so you will be able to make another um, crochet piece with what's left in your skein, the second skein. You will be needing a five millimeter crochet hook, a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. I've still no not located mine but that that's okay and yes so I will be speaking in US terms and I hope you enjoy this tutorial don't forget to download the pattern on my blog it's free and there are lots of pictures there so yeah don't forget to head down there everything will be linked in the description box also so for this video I will be using a sample yarn. So to begin you are going to form a slip knot. So just go ahead and make a slip knot. Pop your hook through and now we are going to be chaining four. So one, two, three and four. Once we've chained four, we are going to be slip stitching into the first chain. So just go ahead, take your yarn, pull it through that chain and then this chain to form a ring into which we are going to be working our shawl. So what we're going to do now is chain three, one, two and three. And this counts as our first double crochet. I will be working my loose end into my work. So we are going to be adding five more double crochets into that center. So just go ahead and um, work five double crochets into the center. So just wrap your yarn around your hook, pop it into that circle, take your yarn, pull it through. You've got three loops on your hook, take your yarn, pull through two loops, take your yarn, pull through two loops and you've got a double crochet. If you need more help on how to double crochet, I will be linking in the description box my video on how to double crochet. 
So now I'm just going to add four of those. So just go ahead and make another four double crochets into that center. So as you can see, I'm just working my loose end into my work. So just go ahead and place all your double crochets like so and now I've got one two three four five six double crochets because this chain three right here counts as our first double crochet so what we're going to do now we are going to chain two one and two so we are just going to be adding six more double crochets within that center so just go ahead and pop six more double crochets into this center. So it's quite a repetitive and easy pattern. It's really easy to get the hang of it and it really suits um, the Victorian era. So one, two, three, four, five, and I need a last double crochet so just make sure at this point that you have the exact right amount of stitches for your um, shawl so I'm just going to count one two three four five six chain two one two three four five and six I'm just going to tighten this center so now I'm going to show you round two. So it's very simple and it's very repetitive. So we finished here. What we're going to do is chain three, one, two and three, turn our work and we are going to be working all along this edge. So this counts as our first double crochet. However, because we want our shawl to grow bigger and bigger, we are going to be adding another double crochet into that first stitch right here. So usually we would just count this as our double crochet and then move on to the next um, stitch. However, we are going to be placing another double crochet into this stitch because this is going to um, able the growth of our um, shawl, if that makes any sense. So just go and place a double crochet into that first stitch, like so. And now we've got two double crochets together inside the first stitch. What we're going to do now is simply add a double crochet on top of each double crochet from the previous row. So just wrap your yarn around your hook and go into the next double crochet and place a double crochet into that. Go into the next double crochet and place a double crochet into that one and place another double crochet into the next double crochet. So as you can see, it's a very easy. So we're just going to do that until we reach the center. So I've just placed a double crochet into each and every stitch and I've reached my chain two center. So in the chain two center, we are simply going to place two double crochets directly into that. So just go ahead, place two double crochets. <coughs> Excuse me. Chain two, one and two. And we are going to place another two double crochets into that center. So just go ahead and place two double crochets into that center. So now, so in the center, we've got those extra double crochets. And what we're going to do um, for the rest of the row is just place a double crochet on top of each double crochet until the last stitch like we did on the other side. So just go directly into the next double crochet right here and place a double crochet on top of that and into the next stitch place a double crochet and into the next stitch place a double crochet and into the next one and 
we're just going to do that until we reach the end of the row. And now I've reached the last um, stitch. So it's the last double crochet, which is actually the chain three from the previous row. And we are going to be placing two double crochets together into the third um, chain that we made. So just go ahead and place two double crochets into that stitch. And this is what we're going to do to make our um, shawl go bigger. And basically, we've got two double crochets together. And this is how our um, shawl looks for now. And it should be symmetrical. So basically, the principle is always to add two double crochets together at the beginning and at the end of each row and when you reach the center place two double crochets chain two two double crochets within that center so i'm just going to show you row three but row three is the exact same as um, row two. So just what we're going to do is just repeat row two over and over. I'm just going to show you it again and then you can just carry on until um, the end of the pattern. So just chain three, one, two and three. Turn your work. And again, we're going to place another double crochet into that first stitch. So just go ahead, place a double crochet into that. And then we're just gonna place a double crochet very simply into each double crochet from the previous row. So just carry on doing that until the center. And I'll show you what to do when you reach the center. So here we are. We've reached um, the center of the project. So this is the chain two space. So we're just going to pop two double crochets into that. One and two. Chain two, one, two. And we're gonna pop another two double crochets directly into that center. And then place a double crochet into each and every stitch until the end of the row. So just go ahead and place a double crochet into the next stitch and another double crochet and so on and I'll just show you what to do once you fin um, you've reached the end of this row. So I've um, reached the end of this row and I've reached the last stitch which is the chain three from the previous row as you recall and we're going to place our two double crochets together into that stitch so just go ahead and place your two double crochets together in that, in that stitch and here we are so this is our um, shawl for now so this is what it looks like and it's absolutely gorgeous and it's just going to carry on growing and growing and growing and it's so beautiful i absolutely adore it so this is um the pattern so you just need to carry on this pattern over and over until you reach 40 rows if you need more help with this part of the pattern just rewind the video because it's just a very simple repeat don't forget to download the pattern and i'm just going to let you carry on this pattern until you reach 40 rows and i will show you how to do the border so I'm just going to show you how to make the chain arc edging. It's a beautiful vintage um, edging. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And um, what we're going to do for this edging. So I've still got my sample. You should have your entire shawl finished for this um, part of the project. And we are going to be placing the edging on this side and this side. So to begin your chain arc edging, you are going to be 
chaining one, it's very simple. And you are going to be placing a single crochet into that same first stitch. So just place a single crochet into that. And just place a single crochet into each and every double crochet from the previous row. So just pop your hook through, take your yarn, pull it through and pull through two loops, very simply. So that's row one of the chain arc edging. So just do that, place a single crochet into each and every double crochet and then I'll show you what to do when we reach the center space. So there we are, I've placed a single crochet into each and every um, stitch of this shawl and I've reached the chain two. So what we're going to do for this space, we are going to place two single crochets directly into it. So one, and two single crochets. We are going to be chaining two, chain two, one and two, and place another two single crochets into that space. So very similar to what we've already done. And again, we're just gonna go down the other side and place a simple single crochet into each and every stitch along. So just go ahead and place your single crochet into this pattern. And I'll show you what to do once you reach the end. So I've reached the end, the chain, um, three from the previous row and we're just simply going to pop a single crochet into that. So just place one single crochet into that stitch and this will be what your pattern will look like, although a bit bigger and probably a bit different because this is a variegated yarn and I was so happy because it just looks so gorgeous, the edging. I mean, I love how um, these colors just are so flattering and so lovely. So basically it looks really nice to have that edging, which will be probably a slightly different color from your shawl. So there we go. So for row two of this edging, we are going to be chaining one. So chain one, turn your work, and we are going to be placing um, one single crochet again into that first stitch. So just go ahead and place a single crochet into that first stitch. Chain three, one, two, and three. Miss one stitch right here. So you are going to miss the next stitch and you're gonna go directly into that one and place a single crochet into that. So it's very simple and it's so effective. It's so gorgeous. I love this, um, this edging. It will look nicer with a different colored yarn. So if you've got like your shawl one color obviously and then a different color for the edging. However, I just thought I would show you like, like this. What we're going to do next is chain three, one, two and three. And again, we are just gonna skip this next stitch and go into the next one and single crochet into that. Chain three, one, two, and three. Miss one stitch and go into the next stitch. And again, chain three, one, two, and three. Miss one stitch and go into the next stitch. And one, two, and three. Miss one stitch, go into the next stitch. And just carry on doing that 
until the end of the row and I'll just show you what to do when we reach the center. So I've just reached um, almost the center and my last um, single crochet has been placed into the single crochet before the center space. So this is what you should have. And what we're going to do for the center is simply um, chain three. So we're just gonna chain three, one, two, and three. And we're just going to directly go into um, the next um, single crochet from the previous row. So just that's what's going to happen. So you're just going to chain three and go directly into that first single crochet after the center and place your single crochet into that. And what we're going to do now is just chain three, one, two and three, miss one stitch and go into the next single crochet and place a single crochet into that, chain three, one, two and three, miss one stitch and go directly into the next one and place a single crochet, chain three, one, two and three, miss one stitch and go directly into the next and so on until the end of the row and I'll show you what to do when you reach the end of your row. So I've just reached the end of this edging pattern and I've got two stitches left so one stitch here and then another. So what we're going to do is chain two, one, uh, chain three, sorry, one, two and three and place your last single crochet into the last stitch of this row and pull through and we're just going to fasten off so just snip off your yarn leaving enough yarn to um, sew in your loose end and tie a knot and you finished your pattern and your edging so it's a gorgeous lace edging it's absolutely gorgeous i know this is just a sample i'll show you the proper shawl it's so beautiful the yarn is such good quality it's so beautiful so let me know in the comments what you thought of this victorian pattern and what you thought of this lace edging and in the meantime i hope you have a lovely week okay bye bye thanks for watching